Hey guys, Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and we are outside in the middle of the winter with a 2013 Chevrolet pickup with a V8. We are going to do some testing on two different battery jump starters. There are a thousand out there and we've done a lot of videos in the past, but we're going to go through two specific ones, kind of talk through their different attributes that they have, how to figure out some of this crazy marketing that they have going on, and then show you if it'll start this truck with the battery disconnected to make sure that you know we're not giving any foolery here because there's a lot of people that'll hook these up to a battery and say, hey, the battery's dead and it'll start. There are some great legit guys out there that are doing it, but sometimes it's just nice to know, will it for sure start your vehicle if your battery is completely dead? So first we're gonna start out with an Arcan 120. This unit comes in a box. It is a multi-volt unit, so you can use it in its 19 volt configuration. It also is a 16 volt configuration and multiple uh, USB outlets that are 2.1 amp and 1 amp on the side. Very similar construction to a lot of other ones we've seen. It does have an LED light up front. The box is nice to have as long as you have a place to store it. If you don't have a place to store the box, it's just going to float around. These are the connectors. Very, very familiar as what we've seen with other units. Small, this unit is rated at 12,000 milliamps, so 12 amp hours, right? 44.4 watt hours, 200 amps. Current peak is what it's said to have on the box. That is probably one of the more realistic numbers that we've seen on the market. So we're gonna test this guy up against a slightly larger amazing brand. This is the IM27. They list this at 18,000 milliamp hour, which would be 18 amp hour, 66.6 watt hour. This is listed as a starting current of 800 amps with a peak starting current of 1600 to 2000 amps. All flowing through these wires, right? This is the difference here. We can look at the milliamp hour uh, and compare it and say, okay, it probably has one more cell inside-ish than the Arcan. So if you're looking at these, this is probably somewhere in the realm of 230 amps, maybe. It might be a little bit more, but at, just trying to keep it real. These are not going to throw at 800 amps. There's no way you're not getting it through here. If you look at the cables on the truck, they're much, much larger than that for starting and running the power, and you're just not going to push that much through here. This is an 8-gauge wire. So similar setup, right? We, on this amazing, only have the two USB outputs, output one, output two. One is higher than the other, and you have an in and out, which is a USB-C for charging pretty decent unit. There's a little bit more on the amazing as far as digital readouts and such. As you would expect, it's going to be a little bit more expensive unit. We're going to put links in the description. So what we're going to do now, hook this guy up. This truck is not going to start. Basically what we're going to do is see how long it will turn the engine over and listen to how fast. Okay, we're going to hook the Arcan up first and we're going to let you watch what happens as we roll this engine over. You can watch via the voltmeter. Everything's powered up. Hook the amazing up, same way. Okay, let's see what happens. So you can hear a huge difference in how this engine turns over with the two. Now let's see if it will actually start. And since we already have the amazing hooked up, let's go with that guy.
So the amazing no issue starting the pickup. Let's switch over to the Arcan. So both units will actually start this pickup, which is good, but the huge difference that we're seeing between the two is how much they'll allow the vehicle to crank and how fast they will crank. So that's going to be a huge determining factor if you're in the cold or if you have a very cold engine or diesel, anything like that. And that is why the milliamp hours, as most of these are rated, are so important. It's really hard to look at the starting amps on this because obviously the Arcan is listed at 200 and the Amazing is listed at 800. Neither one is true. You really have to pick out what specs are going to mean something and in this case, case the milliamp hours is what you probably should look for. Something that is higher in the milliamp hours because they really can't lie about that one or put in some marketing language to get past it. Again, there's links in the description. If you had a really small car, this Arcan would work good. Obviously, you want to have some backup. You don't want to be caught. That's why you're buying one of these things. You have to look at cost, performance, and everything else that's in between. So check them out. Leave us some comments. As always, we appreciate your time. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We always have some more content coming. We appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.